Hi guys, it's Max from High on Android.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I've got Android 8.1 Oreo running on my Galaxy Note 5. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let me give you a quick overview of the 8.1. This is not obviously Samsung. Um, this is a Lineage ROM, all right? Uh, Lineage OS 15.1, you'll see, you'll get full. 8.1.0 as you can see here and you can verify that by having the Oreo cookie mm. um, so this is gonna get you on the latest Oreo um, biggest problem with Sam uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5 right now is that Samsung has stopped updating since I think Marshmallow is it so if you want to get the latest and upgrade your phone you obviously have to root and install a custom ROM like this. Uh, but it's actually really simple. I'm gonna actually um, guide you through step by step. You can do this on pretty much all of the Note 5s uh, except for Verizon or Sprint or um, US Cellular because those are on CDMA and um, most developers now developing for GSM. Um, so if you have any, this is the T-Mobile version. If you have, um, well, I'll have all the model numbers that support it. This also works for all the S6 Edge Plus models also, right? So go ahead and check um, the model supported. Now, as far as S Pen functionality, obviously this is not TouchWiz ROM. You're gonna get uh, pure Android. So you're gonna lose all of your um, S Pen apps. You don't actually lose any S Pen uh, abilities. It still works just fine. You can grab a third party app like the Squid and you still get the touch sensitivity. Um, just for taking regular notes, you won't have a problem with that. Yes, you can see the touch sensitivity working just, just fine. All right, you're just gonna have to use some third party apps. Um, this, is, this is not a TouchWiz, uh, but you can fully use your S Pen with any AOSP ROM. Performance is pretty good. Battery life has been very, very excellent. Actually, I, I would say battery life is actually way better than TouchWiz. This phone, one of the biggest flaws is that uh, battery life isn't that great. Based on that, I mean, this ROM will give you pretty good battery life. All right, as far as um, some features, this is straight up Lineage OS, so you're not gonna get a ton of customization, um, but I do have face unlock working. All right, and I'll have to actually swipe to make it work. So it's actually working there. And also your fingerprint sensor um, also works fine. Ah, there you go. Uh, it's actually face unlocked. Pretty good ROM. I've also installed, uh, I don't know if you noticed, this is a Nexus P launcher, Nexus 9.0 launcher. You can also install that, um, which will give you some additional features, which will allow you to um, read your calendar events, upcoming flight information, and traffic information in the home screen, which is kind of cool. Um, so highly recommend it. I'll have a link to that also. You just install the APK file. Uh, as far as the camera, it does come with its own camera, an AOSP camera, but I've installed the Google ACR camera, which works really well. Um, so you'll be able to get a uh, full ACR, just like a Pixel device. It's a little bit slow, um, but it does the job. All right, and also your portrait mode works. So you can, you're gonna be able to take your uh, front portrait. It's not a bad ROM. I mean, if you wanna be safe, if you wanna be on a super stable ROM, um, you can go with the previous lineage, the Nougat ROM, all right? Which is also very, very solid which was I was actually running before this. But if you want the latest and best 8.1, definitely check this out. Uh, as far as root, um, root works flawless, as you can see here, just install version 6.1. Um, this is definitely, definitely the way to go it. Um, also, you'll notice some soft keys. That's just an option um, you can find under system in um, buttons here. You can go ahead and enable on-screen buttons if you want. Now, there is no option to disable the hardware keys but there's absolutely option to enable it, which is nice. And I'm sort of getting used to the soft keys these days, so I kind of prefer that. Um, but overall, everything working um, out of the box, calls, 4 GLT. Uh, the only thing not working, I think, is NFC. I don't really use NFC much, but if you use NFC a lot, maybe this is not for you. But again, if you want to experience Oreo, this is really the only option at this point since Samsung is not updating. But let me go ahead and show you how to install it. First, just go to my website, check the models, make sure your phone is supported. All right, once you check that, you'll need to download the ROM files. You can download it straight onto your phone or you can copy it uh, from your computer after you download it to your computer. 
I'll actually show you. So you need the Nexus OS blah blah dot zip. All right, this is same for all the models. Uh, you also need the Infinity new patch remove. Of uh, that file. Also, if you want root, make sure you download Majisk uh, v16.1. Also, you need n920x lineage final fix.zip. All right, and also you'll need Beans G apps ARM64. Just go ahead and download all that to your phone before you begin. And also, please turn off any security. This, you know, this will work on any Note 5. Um, it don't matter if you're running stock. You don't have to be rooted. You're just gonna install Twerp install the custom ROM and reboot. Um, but turn off any security uh, because it might mess with the twerp when we're actually installing the ROM. So turn off all your security, your fingerprint, um, just set it to like regular swipe or none, all right? Uh, once you have done that and download all the files, um, you're gonna go ahead and power off your phone, all right? And you're gonna put it into download mode, uh, volume down, center home, and power. All right, once you see the warning screen, hit the power up key. This will put you into download mode. Um, you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer via a micro USB cable. And let's go to our computer. You also need a Windows computer. All right guys, first thing you're gonna need is to download Twerp Recovery. Just go to twerp.me and go ahead and go to devices and go ahead and type Galaxy Note 5 uh, or if you're using S6 Edge Plus, obviously S6 Edge Plus, this one here. Uh, or if you're using Note 5, it's gonna be Note 5 like that. All right, um, here, go ahead and download the appropriate. Since I have the T-Mobile version, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. If you have the international, Canadian, again, it's not gonna work for Sprint or if you have Verizon or US Cellular. But every, all these other models, Korean models, China duos, all these should work. Um, same thing for Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So let me go ahead and download it. Um, it's gonna be the file, just look for the high, the top one with the first file ending in img.tar, all right? Not the .img, you need the img.tar. Go ahead and download this. And also you'll need Odin3 um, blah blah dot zip. This is the Odin program. Double click it, extract all files. Um, you'll get a folder called Odin3. You'll also need Samsung USB drivers if you don't have this installed already. Also, this is different from keys, by the way. You'll also need twerp um, that we, I just downloaded this. So I'm gonna go into the Odin folder. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the Odin program. And here you should see a blue highlighted box. If you don't see this, um, go ahead and double click on Samsung USB driver, run the program, install it, um, unplug your USB, plug it back in, you will see this box. All right, next we're going to go ahead and hit AP. Um, click on twerp. All right, your twerp recovery. And this is sort of important. Um, as soon as uh, this flashes, um, your phone screen is going to go off. We're going to hold down volume up, center home and power immediately. All right, so I'm going to hit start. It's flashing. Wait for it. Now I'm going to hold down volume up, center home, power immediately. All right, if you miss this, you can go ahead and try it again and let go of the power button after a little bit and you can let go of all the buttons when you're here. Now, if you copied all the files over, um, you're good to go here. Um, you're gonna go into, um, if you wanna back up your current ROM, you can go to backup and backup. And also if you want to save storage on your backups, because it can take a lot of um, storage, you can use an OTG cable with a flash drive and choose OTG, USB uh, OTG. It'll show up once I put it in there. You can back up your ROM if you want to back up your stuff. All right, but um, work. yeah, there we go. So now I can choose it. I'm not gonna back it up. Uh, if you don't need to, you don't have to. Now wiping will erase all your apps, app data, app settings. It's not gonna erase contents uh, of your internal storage as photos or videos. Um, so make sure back, but back up everything anyways, before you do any of this tutorial, just in case something goes wrong, especially if it's your first time, you might mess up. Um, so we're just going to do a factory reset. All right. And we're going to hit home, go to install. We're going to go ahead and install the actual, um, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the Nexus OS, install this first. This is the base ROM. All right, this will give us um, the ROM base. 
and we're gonna install the update and the G apps and then um, a JISC to give us root. If you don't need root, um, you don't have to install it. Also, if you want uh, Android Pay, Android Pay, um, you shouldn't install root because I think safety net for some reason it's not passing on mine. So, all right, guys, when that's done, you're gonna go back to install. Next, you're gonna go ahead and install uh, N920X Lineage Final Fixed. All right, and when that's done, you're gonna go ahead and install Bane's G apps. All right, when that's done, you're gonna go ahead and install Infinity New Patch Remove NFC. All right, when that's done, um, if you want root, go ahead and install Magisk. And when that's done, go ahead and re um, reboot system and let it boot. And when it's done, you should have uh, Android 8.1 Oreo along with root on your Galaxy Note 5 and be able to enjoy the latest and greatest Android. All right, it took uh, only maybe like a minute to boot up. It was really fast actually. Um, if it takes longer, you may want to try to install it again, but you should be good to go. Um, go ahead and sign in. Enjoy your Android uh, 8.1 Oreo. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, you should be good to go. And I should have an update um, eventually. But this ROM is pretty solid. I would say it's a good daily driver. Um, I really like it, so definitely check it out. All right, uh, and have a great day. And as always, stay on Android. Click here.